Okay, we're going to talk, the first thing that we're going to talk about is power tools. Power tools are very important to understand. Um, the, the most important thing you need to know about power tools is that it can kill you. Depending on what type of tool you're using. You can use drills, you can use core machines, um, any type of machinery that is um, hand or power. And if you don't know how to use it, you could have problems. An example is healthy. Do you know you have to be certified to use the gun? When you shoot into a ceiling, you're supposed to be certified with, with, the, with the gun. So Hilti, the manufacturer, you take a class on it. And Hilti will be down here probably for your class to learn how to shoot into concrete and everything with the, um, with the 22 gauge. If you're going to use the right tool, you got to make sure that you use the right actual drills, the actual blades. A perfect example is if I'm cutting, everybody knows what a sawzall is? Does everybody know what a sawzall is? Yes. It's a uh, um, reciprocating saw. Well, if I'm cutting wood, or if I'm cutting metal, like a piece of EMT, right over there, like an EMT, I'm going to use a very fine blade. I'm not going to use a coarse blade. If I use a coarse blade, it's not going to cut the EMT right. I would use a coarse blade for maybe wood, or the blade would say wood. It's very important what you use in the right type of um, the tool and also what's connected to it. Inspect before you use. Make sure that the tool is right, um, is working properly. Operate according to the manufacturer's instructions. How many times you get the tool out of the case, brand new case, a uh, right angle drill, or a sawzall, or a circular saw, and you throw out the instructions. I don't need it. I've done it a hundred times. But there might be something new on that tool. There might be a new safety, um, something with the safety, a safety switch that you never saw before. Or it might be made in Germany where they, they use something different because it's a different manufacturer. You always use a, um, a Black & Decker drill, but now you're using a Makita. So it might be a little different. So you might have to read the instructions. Just don't take everything for granted. Um, use the right personal protective equipment. If I'm, use, if I'm drilling overhead, what am I going to use? What, what would I use? What type of personal protective equipment? Hard hat. What else am I going to use? Glasses. Safety glasses. Very good. What about a mask? Dust. <clears throat> I might have to wear a mask. What type of mask? Am I just going to take a piece of paper napkin over me with a rubber band? Or am I going to, is it for fumes? Is it for dust? What, what type of environment am I in? Very important. They make different masks for different types of environment, different fumes, gases, and everything. So use guards. What's a guard? Um, a guard could be like either um, for the tool, make sure there's a guard on it. Don't take off the guard. So if, the, if, if um, you're using a, a circular saw, that the guard's there because the, the, you could cut your finger, you could slice something off, have the guard available. Okay? There's the guard right here. See the guard? That's the guard. Do not use wrenches when drawers are sprung. Okay? Impact tools. Chisels or wedges when heads are, have mushrooms. See the mushroom here? It could slip. When you're using a hammer, it could slip right off because it's mushroom now. Okay? Throw it out, buy a new one. You know, grandpa and used to keep them in the sheds in the basement. Get rid of them. They're old. If it's rusty, they might not be good anymore. Okay? Common sense. Um, tools with loose, cracked, or splinted handles. Okay? You take a hammer, a lump hammer, right? It has a lot of weight to a little lump hammer. Maybe a five pound lump hammer. You keep on doing all sorts of splinted one time. You take that next shot. Wow, it went flying. Could have hit somebody in the head. The metal piece. The lump, okay? So you've got to be careful. Make sure inspect your tools, especially uh, the hand tools. Don't use a screwdriver as a chisel. We do it all the time. Take the Craftsman Craftsman <laughs> flathead screwdriver. I use it as a chisel. No good. Okay? It could, it could split. The, the metal could shatter, go into your eye. Okay? Because it's not, it's not made for a chisel. It's made for a flathead to screw, or a, or a um, or a Phillips to for a screw, Phillips tip. Use the right tool. 
Um, tools with tape handles, they may be hiding cracks. Okay, don't, don't tape the handles. Okay, they have a grip. Make sure they have a grip. Buy a grip. They might, you can put them over. See those tools over there? Those tools over there have special grips. They're listed for 600 volts. Okay, so you can buy grips for different types of tools. Okay. Um.